Hey guys, so what are those GoGo5 figures that went up for pre-order today? I'm gonna show you with the Sun Vulcan figures cause same figures, just different teams. So first, let's take a really nice look at these. Some of you guys might know that Stan Lee had actually tried to bring Sun Vulcan to America. I think he like wanted to replace the Japanese actors with American actors and put an American show together like that would ever work. I don't know what he was thinking. It'll never catch on, but anyway. <laughs> I know what questions you guys have, so I hope you check out the whole video so you can hear the answers. These are little tiny candy toy figures that come in this box. Let's see what's inside. I'm not sure I want to call these model kits because they really are pretty much all together, fully painted. This set does not have any stickers you have to apply or anything like that. The belt buckles you do have to assemble yourself, but it's pretty easy, I promise. Each figure comes with five sets of hands as well as their weapons. Here's the figure and then here's a candy toy. So this comes looking like this. Candy! This one, you get stickers. So the candy toy, this is what you're starting out with. And this one actually has a painted visor. They don't all have that much detail. So with the normal candy toy, you've got some stickering to do, whereas this one, it is fully painted front and back. These figures are really tiny. I could just measure it, but here is an excessive number of figures to compare. Larger than Ranger Key <laughs> and the Gashapon figure. Smaller than the Samurai figure. Here's a bike figure from Zio. Same figures they did for like Mighty Morphin, Alien, Zio, Turbo, and the Galaxy Gliders in space, so bike figures. Here is the candy toy that you're usually getting these days, even smaller than the normal candy toy figure. Here's Bandai's Red Action Hero Ninja Steel Ranger, and can I get a Ninja Steel, everybody? Ninja Steel. <laughs> Automorphin, Red Ranger, and then Hasbro's Mainline and Lightning Collection, and then here's a vinyl figure. But anyway, it's very small. How big is it? That's about four inches. It's about four inches. And these are like a little over four and a half inches. I can barely read this. <laughs> I need a new ruler. Okay. If you have a figure art stand, these guys are compatible. Little thing on the back to peg into. So if you wanted to have them jumping or floating, <laughs> you could. The accessories also have holes to peg in as well. So if you wanted to have him going to kick or maybe slice the football, I don't know. You could. These figures, I think, would go very well on a Zord shelf. We'll take the Jungle Bling Megazord. I think that's the name of it. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Right, Jungle Bling Megazord? That sounds right to me. Yeah, that's a good scale for displaying with Megazords. These guys make me think of like if a figure art and a candy toy had a kid. Here's the kid. <laughs> candy arts. Pretty much everything is on a ball joint. You could take the leg off, the arm off. The head, <laughs> ankle on a ball joint. Ugh. Body, oh no, what have I done? Look at the mess I made. They give you a few versions of the weapon, so if they wanna hold the sword, you can have the empty holster on the belt. Put them back together, just go like this. Just like that, that is all better. But unlike the figure arts, Lightning Collection, Legacy Collection, the hands just plug in like that, so I'm not worried about breaking the, the hands. My only complaint about these and these and these, price. These are not cheap. This set was like $100-ish, and the GoGo 5 figures, they're about the same, which is weird, because you get two more Rangers. I was expecting it to be like $200. <laughs> not, not that $100 is cheap, but... They're expensive, could have been worse, could be better. For what they are, it seems like they could be a lot less, right? But they also are, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I think I need that. I'll, I'll sell one of the cats or something. So direct links in the video description. Let me know if you need a cat. 
uh, to figure art stands and the GoGo5. These guys sold out the GoGo5 figures. I pre-ordered them yesterday from, is it Toku Collectibles or Toku Lectibles? I've probably been saying it wrong. Anyway, direct link in the video description. All right, I know some of our vlog channel people enjoy my older footage, so it's actually the anniversary of when I was hanging out with Chris Farley. I'm gonna post that video over there. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back soon with many good videos and good night.